I really tried to wake up at 6 a.m. for this video, literally for SEO purposes because everyone loves the 5 a.m., 6 a.m. vlogs, but I slept through my alarm. Let me rewind a little bit. So two days ago, I got back from France and I was really proud of myself because as soon as I got home, I unpacked all my luggage. Like I think we got home at about midnight and immediately I unpacked my suitcase, put away my luggage, did a load of laundry, my back was hurting, I was so tired, I just wanted to go to sleep, but I cannot have my luggage sitting around. The next day I slept in and my boyfriend made me breakfast because I did not have any bell peppers and red onions at home, which has become like an inside joke at this point that I eat the same thing for breakfast every day, which I do. When I came back, I had a little bit of a cold, I had an eczema flare up, and my period started the very next day. So I was not in a good state. So the second day that I was back, I still needed a lot of sleep. I thought that I could immediately get back to my normal sleep schedule, but no such luck. It's 8.30 a.m., so I am not yet back to my normal sleep schedule at all, but I feel well rested, which is the important thing. So bit by bit, we will get back to 6.30, 7, or whatever. Let's go have a good day. Regardless of what time I wake up, I always have to do my little morning routine to feel refreshed for the day. So I start with some stretches, I do some exercises, um, I put my Apple Watch to charge. I take a one minute long cold shower. I used to do 30 seconds, but now I just feel like torturing myself for twice the amount of time, so one minute. Then I get some cozy jazz music playing on the speaker and I journal. I free write for five minutes about whatever's on my mind and then I write three things that I wanna do that day and three things that I'm excited about. I have an eczema flare up around my mouth, so I didn't really wanna film this video today because I don't feel very confident on camera but maybe this is better maybe this makes the video more real so yeah if you have eczema out there know that it's okay so basically post travel reset we're gonna do some productive things some studying some cooking some cleaning but we're also gonna take it easy because I am so tired I was absolutely wiped yesterday I normally stand in the metro on the way to school and like yesterday I could not I had to find a seat So finally, I did secure my beloved breakfast ingredients. Everything was right in the universe once again. For those of you wondering, it's about a teaspoon of olive oil, 250 grams of bell peppers and red onions mixed together, a dash of salt and pepper, one to two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, a handful of spinach, and two eggs. Crossword time! The first task of the day was to do my first readings of the semester. So if you saw my transform your study habits before second semester academic weapon video, then you know that I'm a really big advocate of just getting schoolwork done bit by bit, staying on top of it because it saves you so much stress at the end of the semester. And it's also just the best way to absorb information. I have to read two chapters for a class called research methods that I have today. We'll see how long it takes once the semester semester actually gets into swing, then it's easier to estimate how long things will take. But I haven't opened these textbooks yet, so I don't know how long the chapters are. But I'm quite excited for this class because I've had this professor before and I love her and I think I like the subject. So let's do this. After all of this productivity, I took some time to look for some knitting patterns for my next project. You might have seen on Instagram that I made these Legends of Zelda themed mittens for my boyfriend for Christmas. You should follow me on Instagram, by the way. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I started knitting in middle school. I kind of learned on accident. I was at the Children's Museum and I stumbled upon this knitting class that they were doing. And I got really into this hobby after that. But at some point in high school, I just got tired of it. And I thought that I would never pick it back up again so I actually gave away all of my knitting supplies but now I don't know how many six seven eight years later I'm getting old I just felt like doing something with my hands again I wanted a hobby to give my brain a break and I also just really love handmade gifts so I decided to relearn so thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video they actually have a learning path called take your knitting to the next level 
learning paths are basically these groups of classes that they've handpicked around one topic and they build onto one another. You go in order and by the end you've learned some new skill. I've worked with Skillshare before and I've loved their classes on like productivity, time management, career advice, but this time I just wanted to make something. I don't consider myself to be a very artistic person outside of like video and photo editing, so I actually wanted to create some art. What's amazing about Skillshare is that it's an online learning community with thousands of classes taught by industry professionals, but you can take them wherever, whenever you want. This is my cozy introverted hobby, you know? I really do not want to be leaving the house to go take an in-person class somewhere. Usually I knit after I've gotten home from school and had dinner, so that's like 9 p.m. I just want to get cozy on my couch, watch this class on my computer. So if you're looking for a new creative hobby to take on, there are so many different learning paths to explore, like acrylic painting, crochet, guitar playing. You can keep this hobby for yourself, or there are also so many classes about starting a creative business, if that's what floats your boat. The first 500 people to use my link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So I dare you, I dare you, pick a learning path, spend 30 minutes every day after school or after work, whatever. It feels so good to have a project that you can call your own, whether it is some mittens or starting a new YouTube channel. So let me know what learning path you choose and what classes you take and enjoy getting creative. to that research methods class we just got an overview of the course and a tiny bit of lecture because we only had one session so it was one hour 20 minutes and then instead of taking the metro straight home like I normally would I walked to the Shamaktin train station and I took a Serkanias train which was so confusing to get to the airport while I was traveling to France I left my water bottle at security I realized it a few minutes later, but when we went back, they didn't have it. So they said, when you come back from traveling, go to Lost and Found and see if they have it there. But when we got back, it was like 11.30 p.m. and the Lost and Found closed at 10. Unfortunately, no luck at the airport. My water bottle is gone forever. It was worth a try though, because the youth metro pass that we have in Madrid includes these Cercanias trains. So the entire trip was free. I just had to spend some time, but Alas, whatever. Before coming home, I stopped by a yarn store and picked up some red and white yarn for the new knitting pattern that I picked, and then I went to Aldi for a few groceries. I'd actually never shopped at Aldi before, so I looked through the groceries that I got, how much they cost, and I added them to my Notion database, which you can get for free in my adulting dashboard template. I cooked some quick dinner, one of my go-tos when I have no groceries at home, which is usually after trips like this, is these bags of frozen vegetables. These are so convenient. So I cooked that with some salt, pepper, again balsamic vinegar, and cumin. I mixed in some quinoa and an egg, and there you go. Not, not a bad dinner. Not an amazing dinner, but not a bad dinner. While I ate, I put on my comfort show, Impractical Jokers. This show just really reminds me of home. It's also something that I don't have to intensely pay attention to and worry that I'll miss something. And also, I don't know, this might sound kind of sad. I truly love living alone, but it's also kind of nice to just have the sound of laughter in the house. See, this is why you have to really review the basics. I think I'm about four or five rows in and I realized that I did my, what's it called? Joining in the round incorrectly. So I gotta start over on that. While I knitted, I called my boyfriend for a little bit because we didn't get to see each other that day. I'm gonna be honest with you. I actually made no progress on this knitting project on this particular evening because I restarted like twice and made grave mistakes both times. But this is the learning process, right? This builds character character, built patience, and next time I'll do it properly. Finally, I got ready for bed, I brushed my teeth, took off my makeup, uh, did my skincare, moisturizer, eczema cream, everything. I did my evening journaling where I write down everything that I did that day, 
and then three things that I accomplished that I'm proud of and three things that I was grateful for. I've also been trying to read more, which is honestly very difficult because last year I had a very nice class schedule where I would come back from class at about lunchtime. So I would eat lunch, then read, then get back to work. I'm trying to read before bed. I'm not sure how well that works, but we'll test out different times. I checked out from the online library, the book Candy House, which I've been wanting to read for a long time. So that's pretty good so far. And then it's time for lights out. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week with a new one. Bye.